Creating faceless YouTube videos is one of the greatest online side hustles as of right now, and one of the highest earning videos are documentaries. These channels are earning literally tens of thousands of dollars every month, and you are probably thinking, well that's nice for them, but I don't have the skills to edit these videos, or I don't have the money to hire some fancy editor or use expensive programs like Premiere Pro. So I asked myself, is it possible to create high quality faceless videos in a simple and free program like Canva? Well, as it turns out, you absolutely can. I have created a faceless video with arguably the same, if not better quality than any other high production one. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And spoiler alert, it's very easy. So stick around until the end because the end result is absolutely going to blow your mind. Let's begin. All right, so to create faceless videos in Canva, you wanna start by selecting the video format. Now, here is where the magic is going to happen. So the beauty of creating faceless videos in Canva is that Canva has everything you could want in one platform and you can use it entirely for free. You have access to amazing graphics, photos, and videos. You can add text, music, and sound effects. There is an AI text to image and even a text to video generator and much, much more. There is literally way too much to fit in one video. So let's only focus on creating these documentary style videos. You always wanna start with your voiceover. Canva even has an AI text to speech program you can use. However, I highly recommend you use Eleven Labs. This is miles better and they even have a free plan which gives you around 20 minutes of voice generation every month. I have put the link to Canva and Eleven Labs in the description of this video. So if you want to test out this method use these links to get started. When you go to voice library, you can choose from hundreds of extremely high quality AI voices. I personally really like the Paddington voice for these types of videos. The script of a documentary is probably the most important part, so I highly recommend you look closely at how other successful channels are writing their scripts. For this example, I have written an intro for a documentary about ancient Egyptian mysteries. Simply paste in your script and select Generate. Now import this voiceover in Canva. As you can see, the voiceover appears at the bottom of the screen. This is where the editing is going to take place. And I'm actually not going to start with the voiceover at the start of the video, but I'm going to create a suspenseful buildup to really hook the viewers into the video. So I'm going to drag the voiceover a little bit further onto the timeline for now. So I want to start with a black screen. To do this, you want to select the first scene. Go to colors in the top left corner and select a black color. Next to the colors, you can set the duration of a scene. I want this to play very short, so I will set this one to have a second. Now for the next step, I want to briefly show four images or videos to set the mood of the video. To do this, I will go to elements in the toolbar on the left side of the screen. Because I'm making a documentary about Egypt, I'm going to search for pyramids. Let's start simple with a photo. Enlarge the photo so it fits the entire screen and I'm going to set the duration of this scene to one second. Now to add another scene, you simply hover your mouse between the two scenes and select add page. This time, I will search for Egypt. And let's add a video for this one. Just like the last scene, I'm only going to show this scene one second. So let's speed up the video a bit. To do this, you can select playback and increase the video speed. Now again, let's change the duration to one second. I'm going to repeat these steps for two more scenes. I do think the first scene is a little bit boring. However, I have a great trick on how you can bring your images to life. Simply go to edit photo in the top left corner and select remove background. Then go back to elements and let's search for a video we can use as a background. For instance, a sunset video. Again, enlarge it so it fits the entire screen and move it to the background. To do this, you want to go to position and then select backward. To easily keep track of all your videos and images, you can go to layers. Here you can then select the image or video to make adjustments. I'm again going to speed up this video and set the duration to one second. Another trick you want to use is to add an overlay effect. Simply go to elements and search for camera overlay. Enlarge the video and what you now want to do is decrease the transparency. To do this, you want to go to transparency and set it to, for instance, 20%. Again. Don't forget to adjust the duration, and you now have a vintage camera effect. I'm simply going to copy this effect and also place it onto the other scenes. Alright, 
Now let's see how this looks. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's not very impressive. But hold on, because there is one simple trick to make this seem extremely impressive. Let me tell you a secret. You don't need to be a great video editor to make good videos. However, you do need to be good at sound design. Sound design is simply picking the right music and sound effects for a video. Let me prove to you that sounds can completely transform your video. Picking the right sounds and music always depends on your type of video. And again, I strongly recommend you look closely at other successful videos. I have also put a list with sound effects in the description of this video, so you can use those as a starting point. I always like to at least use riser, whoosh and impact sound effects. To do this you want to go to audio in the menu bar on the left side of your screen. Simply search for a sound effect you think suits your video, then drag it to the right place in the timeline. I always suggest you listen to the sound effects in between placements. To adjust the volume, simply select the sound effect and go to the volume icon, then adjust the volume to your liking. Simply repeat these steps until you have all the desired sound effects incorporated in your video. I'm also going to add a video of some camels for the next part of the documentary. And now, let me show you the start of the video with sound effects. So you know what I mean with, you don't have to be a great editor, you just have to be good at sound design. I think we can all agree that that's looking a lot better all of a sudden. The next step is to simply play the video and listen to the voiceover to determine where you want to switch up the footage. Place the timing bar to the point where you want to switch up the footage and simply right click with your mouse and select split page. Then go to elements and search for a piece of footage you want to place here instead. Enlarge the video so it fits the entire screen. And repeat this for the rest of your video. Play the video, listen to the voiceover to determine where you want to switch up the footage. Place the timing bar to the point where you want to switch up the footage and split the page. It's as easy as that. The last step is to add transitions in between scenes. To do this you simply want to hover in between scenes and select, add transition. Pick one you think fits best with your video. Keep in mind that you definitely don't need to add transitions for every scene. Again. The easiest way is to look at how other successful videos are incorporating this and take inspiration from them. I personally like to use slide and fade transitions. To complete the video I suggest you add a few more sound effects for instance where you have added the transitions. And you are done. Now let's take a look at the final result. But before I show you this. I want to quickly mention that I grew my faceless YouTube channel from 0 to 70,000 subscribers in 4 months and I made a course that explains exactly how you can do this too. The link to this course is in the video description. Once again, thank you for your patience. Now on to the actual final result. Egypt is one of the biggest ancient mysteries. It has always been famous for its incredible feats of structural engineering. And even though we continuously make new discoveries, most of Egypt's secrets are still hidden deep beneath the endless scorched sands. The mysteries and achievements are so incredible that even some of the greatest scientists believe the Egyptians must have been in contact with alien beings. But is this actually true? Personally, I'm super impressed with the result. And this is only scratching the surface of what's possible with Canva. So let me know if you want to see more ways on how to use Canva to create faceless videos. I have put all the links of the tools used and the tips in the description of this video. So if you want to test out this method, use these to get started. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and until next time.